day and welcome to SEO Bricks Insight where we look at what's really going on in the world of the Bricks. Now today I want to talk about the EU's gas curse from its rejection of Russian pipeline gas and how it's claimed yet another victim. Now in 2022 the imposition of sanctions on Russia by the US, EU, G7 etc. All the European automotive brands rapidly exited the highly lucrative and profitable market for them, Russia. They subsequently then discovered going home had serious problems and they're now facing them. Now the oldest German automotive company Volkswagen has announced that it's considering the closing of its two of its major manufacturing plants. However that news was no less of a shock to the public and the media was the announcement in the order to save money the company's also considering breaking the long-standing agreement it had with the trade unions which was signed and was through until 2029. Volkswagen is, or perhaps it would be more accurate to say it was, considered the gold standard employer in Germany, the most reliable employer, the most general social guarantees and the highest salaries. So the company's plans naturally caused a storm of process, especially from the trade union movement, which announced it would be massively resisting all the announced plans. Now the fact that Volkswagen's unpopular plans are based on its increasingly unfavourable reality it's facing and it's a gloomy one at that for the Germans. There's no hope of reversing this in even the medium term. Now according to the company's CEO Oliver Bloom, Germany's falling further and further behind in terms of competitiveness and in general the European car industry is in a very difficult and serious situation. Now in general one can understand the management of Volkswagen from whom the puzzle of forecasting began to come together in a word bankruptcy and in order to avoid such an unpleasant scenario in the future they're faced with the need to take tough measures today. Now it's clear that no, the longer the decision is delayed the more painful the situation will be and in Germany's industrial sector is beginning to increasingly resemble the Titanic after it struck the iceberg so no one's going to be surprised that Volkswagen finally decides to leave the sinking ship for good. Now before I continue I'd like to make an appeal if you like and enjoy my videos you can help me fund the channel and my website seobricksinsight.com to further develop it. You can do this by making a small donation which is done by clicking on the thanks button at the bottom of the video screen. Everybody who donates does get a personal thank you from me and I'm actually thanking you all now for watching. I do appreciate it. Now the, perhaps the strangest thing about what's happening is the insulting cynical openness with which the destruction of the German industry is being carried out. After all, up till now, the West has always sugarcoated the bitter pill of reality when it wanted to feed someone. I mean, Germany itself has had considerable experience of this as the leader of the European Union. It successfully destroyed entire industries of East European EU members under the guise of the fine words about European unity, prosperity and environmental protection. Now there's many reasons for the current situation, the profitability of uh, production being adversely affected. Now this is primarily caused by higher energy costs, higher steel, other metals costs and components up in price because of the policy of the rejection of Russian pipeline gas. Now the low cost of Russian pipeline gas balanced out the higher labour and social cost and now that that favourable situation has disappeared you're now looking at the difficulties that VW has been experiencing recently. And that's due to their miscalculations in their marketing and product strategies according to experts. For example, that it attempt to expand into the Chinese electric vehicle market failed. In terms of sales of electric and hybrid cars in Germany, the company lags far behind local manufacturers. The group is also struggling with traditional combustion engine cars, especially in the mass market segment. Now recently, the group's main revenues have been generated by its luxury divisions. For example, the Porsche brand, which is owned by a Volkswagen, is now more profitable to the company than the whole of the VW brand itself, says independent automotive consultant Sergei Buzgaziev. 
He noted that in this situation, the decision to save money is fully justified. Also, he says there's a serious technological deficit in comparison between uh, Volkswagen and its active Chinese competitors. Now, analysts believe the issues faced by the German company are indicative of the larger crisis in the European automotive industry. I mean, the Volkswagen Group's considering a number of radical measures, which include the closure of several plants. Now, as reported, it's the plants are expected to close at least one full automobile plant and one component manufacturing facility. As Reuters reports, it's one of the plants is in uh, Onzebroek in Lower Saxony and, and another in Dresden, and also in Saxony. They're likely to be affected. Now, these plants are likely to be relocated to the United States. No surprise there. Now, the reason for the current situation is the federal government's mistake, uncompetitive economic conditions that they created and that do not reflect the realities of the modern car business, says Linda Rizik, who's the professor of management at the Russian Presidential Academy. So you've got to add into this the incompetence of the group management. It's obvious that you can't do long-term planning and expect it to be effective in the conditions of a highly changing and dynamic car market. Now, a lot of this was caused by the impact of the anti-Russian sanctions, which were felt by a large number of European companies. Now, the ensuing energy crisis and sky-high prices for them have hit the profitability of Western companies and particularly the car industry at the worst possible time. I mean, in addition, uh, Volkswagen has announced other significant cost causing measures in, in response to a slowdown in consumer spending and the ongoing transition to uh, electric vehicles. Now, this will involve the termination of the company's employment guarantee program that's been in place for, since 1994. And it provides a protection from any layoffs until 2029. Now, do bear in mind the company employs 680,000 people. Now, the rise in production costs coincided with the period of its multi-million dollar investment in the development of electric vehicles. Now, this became one of the factors in losing out to the competition in the Chinese car industry, which is more technologically advanced, more flexible and has lower overall costs. That includes labour and energy costs, according to Ivan Idrevsky, who's the vice president of the Russian Union of Engineers. I mean, high gas prices and huge competition from the Chinese car industry, which supplies products to the European market more cheaply and is no less technologically advanced, have had a serious impact. As the production lines of Chinese factories are equipped with the latest technology and labour costs, the heads of uh, Chinese cars are significantly cheaper, as Nikolai Valoov, who's a strategy expert at the Total Research. Plus, you've also got to factor that Germany's expensive labour costs. They have a high level of social protection. And despite the significant pro pro problems they were facing, the company's management continued to hire staff year after year, which led to a further increase in their cost structure. As a result, the profitability of their production continued to decline. Now, the problems of Germany's oldest car maker do not bode well for the German economy at large or for the current government, according to analysts. The authorities are now going to have to take care of a huge number of people who are going to lose their jobs. There's going to be a budget deficit and resources will have to be reallocated from other industries and served. I mean, you only have to look at another well-known German company who also pulled out of Russia, where they were very successful. They've faced similar problems this year. Its management, however, managed to save the company from bankruptcy after making significant staff, staff cuts. It closed various plants, and with the help of preferential loans from some of the country's local government, something that cannot yet be said of uh, Volkswagen. Now, the European car industry is in a very difficult and serious situation, and the economic environment has become tougher as new players are coming to Europe, especially from uh, Asia and China. Germany has become less and less competitive as a business location. Now, experts are certain that the Volkswagen is only the first sign of a global crisis in the automotive industry, and Europe is already facing it. The Americans will be next. 
Today, the European car industry still has an important advantage in the form of its reputation for quality. But as soon as the Chinese close the gap in the um, reputation in this segment, the days of the European car industry are likely to be numbered. So, there we have it. The curse that the EU placed on itself when it decided to stop its purchases of cheap Russian pipeline gas claims yet another victim. And I do know that Volkswagen, although it's currently there, will not be the last. Now, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, you can help me fund the channel and the website seobricksinsight.com by clicking on the thanks button at the bottom of the screen. Don't forget to share and please do use the comment section. I love to hear from you. I love to interact with you and I'll see you all again soon. Thank you.